hello everyone let's solve these questions okay so the question here says that a graph is shown in the figure below and a, a circle type structure symbol signifies that the straight line does not touch the point and a dot symbol, symbol that a symbol signifies that the line touches the point right so choose the correct option option or options okay so before going to um, any uh, of these of any of these options since it since here uh, these are visible that it, it it talks about vertical line uh, even odd and uh, horizontal line right horizontal interest okay so <clears throat> so let's first uh, better see what these things are okay so vertical line test uh, i personally think that it, this is the main test which uh, either differentiates in between being a function and not being a function right so vertical line test is gives the feasibility uh, of a function right i am writing in short form and horizontal line test gives out it checks if the function is one one or not or not right so it just does this okay so with respect to the given graph if we say uh, if we draw vertical lines like this okay, so these are not actually the vertical lines but okay right so if we draw some sort of vertical lines like this see uh, these are not okay so so we see that um, uh, as far as a vertical line any of the vertical line is concerned uh, and there are no two points in which the graph is intersecting right so this is here and this is here so at this point if we draw some of the if, if at this point if any horizontal line is present then at this point it will uh, intersect but this point is actually a circle that means this point is not included okay so so we can conclude that or we can uh, make uh, yeah we can conclude that this is a function okay so this is a function this is a function it's it's quite uh, you know it's now proved we can say okay so it's a function okay now the things come is even or what uh, what is the meaning of even not function so if a function f of uh, if a function so this kind of behavior that f of minus x is equal to fx then this is considered as even and if f of minus x is equal to minus of fx then this is said to be odd right so we can see from here that these uh, that at here and you let us take this point any of this point let's say it is some x and so f of x is equal to 0 in this case in this case right but f of minus x f of minus x is not equal to 0 either or we can say that uh, this is equal to uh, let us say minus x is somewhere here here it is minus x since x and x has to be same so it just the sign is changed Here it is minus one okay it is minus one so there is no inequality in between them and same uh, if this is happening with this so uh, so uh, what we can see here is that see there is no equality that's the main point that there is no inequality so if there isn't any inequality we can say that this function is neither even neither odd okay so yeah now we are good to go with the options okay so uh, yeah options the first says that graph can be a function can be of a function because it passes the vertical lines. okay this is correct the graph represents the graph of either even or odd function so we saw that this is actually wrong right and here it says that the graph represents the graph of neither even nor odd function so this is correct and the graph cannot be a function right so uh, this is uh, wrong because graph is a function and graph cannot be a function because uh, it, it, see cannot comes then the option is wrong okay so yeah uh, yeah we have to correct choose the correct option okay so i think this is this question is clear now let's move ahead this question see we are having fx is equal to x square and hx is equal to this then which of the following options are correct? F O H F O H is equal to F of H X, right? So this is uh, 
we can write this as f of hx right so this is x minus 1 squared okay is not an injective function so injective function is a function which passes the horizontal line this we can say so by the transformations transformations i am not going in the detail of transformation there is a video in our channel you can watch that so but through basic transformation knowledge what we can judge here that uh, the graph would look like something like this see it would be a parabola that's for sure right it's a parabola that's sure and it is something here somewhere here oh sorry it's not minus it's one right it's 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 vertex is at one zero okay so uh, so this is a parabola and clearly it violates the horizontal line test, right so it's not actually an injective function so this option is correct this option is correct that it's not foh is not an injective function okay let's move ahead the second option says that f of h of hx uh, f of f of hx into hx is equal to this so it, it looks a bit of complicated but it isn't actually so f of hx is actually f of hx is your uh, f of hx right so uh, it is x minus 1 squared and f of f of hx is uh, your uh, uh, x minus 1 power 4 right because it is again going to the function f right and and then it is multiplied with uh, hx which is nothing but x minus 1 okay x minus 1 so x minus 1 to the power 5 so this option is also correct hof is not an injective function okay so hof means this is equal to h of fx right h of fx so mm, yeah so h of fx is what we have to uh, keep the fx function in hx right so uh, it would be x square minus 1 and now again I would like to remind you regarding the transformation thing because it's quite you know clumsy and it would become a bit of lengthy if we do if we do the proving which is the which is the actual method of proof so I'm not going into that we are using directly the transformation and we can judge here that uh, that since the minus 1 is actually in the outside of the function at uh, the variable term I would say uh, so this is nothing but like this the graph is like this the vertex is at minus 1 0 okay so again this violates our uh, horizontal line test right so it's a parabola and it violates so there uh, so hof is not an injective function this is also correct option okay Let's again move next. It says that h of h of fx is equal to 0. This particular equation is having two distinct solutions. Okay. So what, what we are having here is uh, yeah, h of h of fx. Okay, h of h of fx is equal to 0. So h of fx we have to first think. Uh, it is x squared minus 1 and again this thing is kept in the h so this minus 1 is equal to 0 okay so this is x square minus 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to 2 x square sorry x is equal to plus minus of root 2 and there are two distinct solutions which are uh, plus 2 plus root 2 and minus so again this thing is correct foh is an injective function okay so f was f o h was not an injective function so so this is wrong and this thing i think is same f of h of h x f of a into h x is not equal to this so this is incorrect and uh, uh, h o f is an injective function uh, which is not right h o f is not an injective function so this option is also wrong okay but i think there is some yeah here it is say it says that then which of the following options are incorrect yeah here here i to miss this point so actually those which are correct are actually wrong okay so i'm just uh, doing like this i think this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong and this is wrong 
and those which are actual which were uh, right actually uh, so which were wrong actually are the correct options so these are the correct okay so let's move ahead yeah this question is also a good one yeah so <laughs> there are some graphs given in, in multiple colors right so let's start uh, just we have to analyze and give the answer right so here here it says correct option let's just check this what it says okay so gx may be the inverse of fx so if you if we just try to draw the function fx uh, which appears like if you if you can imagine it if it appears like something x is cube or some odd power let's take uh, uh, x raised to the some uh, with some odd power so it would be here let us take it as x cube and plus one since it is above from the origin so it goes something like this okay so this is the thing okay now 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 let's uh, what what actually is the graphical interpretation or graphical trick i would say for uh, this inverse of a function it is that uh, inverse is nothing but uh, uh, the mirror image about the line uh, y is equal to x right so if we try to build up a mirror image we will get something like this here and here it would be something like this and goes here so i am not looking at the graph right so it's just my intuition and my practice of mathematics we can say so yes we can see that our two figures are matching so yes this can be the correct option and gx may be the inverse of Okay, px and qx are even functions, but fx and gx are neither even nor odd functions. So uh, through the analogy which which we uh, did in the previous question, we can see that yes, the values here for some positive and some negative is same for at least px, and it is again same for qx, right? So the change of sign is not hampering the graph or the value of y, which is the which. Which is which the function takes, right? So, uh, so yeah, this is this is at this side, and here it, it's quite again, uh, you know, if this is this and this is this, then values are different. The values are not equal. That's why uh, we can say that uh, these functions are actually neither odd nor 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 even. Okay. So, okay. So p x and q x are even functions, but yeah, yeah this is correct. Qx could not be the inverse of px. So, uh, if you if you uh, would go in a bit of detail, that how would the inverse of some parabola looks like? So it's something like this, okay? Not like this. It's it's something like this. It goes right. If this is x square, so so this the function px is nothing but x square plus one. We can say so it the so in any cost in any of the transitions we we would make the uh, the the graph of the inverse would go something like this. So, qx could not be the inverse of uh, px. So this is also correct. Okay. Px, qx can be an even degree polynomial. Px and qx, okay. Uh, and fx can be an odd degree pol uh, polynomial. Function. So this is also correct. All are correct. Okay. Very nice. So, yeah. So, yes, this is correct since this shows that behavior. So how can you judge that? See, there is a parabola. So parabola is the characteristic features of if uh, if x is having something, um, x is raised to some even power, right? Or even it's x is having some even degree. That polynomial is having some even degree, and it crosses the x-axis if it is having some odd uh, degree, right? And uh, x is having the highest power as some odd number. Okay? So that's all. Thank you.